Welcome back to the Pinocchi Hockey Stadium as they get down for the face off to start the second half. Sweden six, Scotland four. After that last second goal to end the first half by Leif Palsen. Again, Palsen comes up with the ball at midfield. They haven't always won the draw, Sweden, but they're very effective on the ground ball. Much better defence there by Scotland. Sent the slide early. So when Palson rolled back inside, he was met by a large Scottish gentleman. Flag on the play though. So Sweden will go man up. This is Samuelson. The Jonas Drakenberry. Shot was blocked. Nice play there by 43 for Scotland. Graham Higgins, Rockenberry to Samuelson, thought about the shot, turned it back, Palson to Carlson, sorry, Carl Olsen. This is Palson, beautiful little face dodge, skipped past the first man, but again, turns it down, big shot by Olsen, super save again though. Ethan Harris turned that one away. Yeah, Sweden retain possession. Carlton again. Goes low to high. Harris read that one all the way. Clear by Hal Jones, number 60. Clear is good. Gets off the ball off to Jesse Fair. Dixon Smith, long stick midfielder for Sweden. Well, plays long stick midi and straight D. Utility player with a pole. Also fancied himself as a attack player when he gets the ball in his stick. So excellent stick skills, as you'd expect from an ACC athlete. Recruited by Virginia. Jesse Fair. Dixon Smith got a piece of that one though. Scotland retain the ball. Dan Hayway to bring it in on the back line. Hayway's a joint top scorer in the tournament with Eddie Bennett from England, both with 21 goals. Hayway on cue, just showing us why. Nice little spin move, beats his man topside. Quick release. Jonathan Andreasen got a piece of it. Not that Hayway will care. That ends up in the back of the net. Sweden six, Scotland five in the third quarter. <laughs> nice work by Vickers. Under pressure from Wealth. Again, the Swedish defence, very long, aggressive on the ball. Yeah, there's lots of talk in the US college game about needing the game needing a shot clock and how the sticks need fixing. How you can't dispossess the ball. No one seems to have got the memo in Europe. The players are actually allowed to play. So defenders got the green light to go out, throw checks. Good check on the stick. The ball will come out. It's a high risk, high reward. Unfortunately, with professional coaches. Oh, that's a great goal. Meanwhile, Scotland come out fired up in its second half. That's the equalising goal. Matt Carey. Beautiful cut straight down the middle on the left-hand side. Beats Andreasen high, the assist to Dan Hayway. Scotland six, Sweden six.
Again, we haven't seen many stalls here this week. All these players have paid there to be here. So whatever position they play, they actually want to play the game. Problem with professional coaches is that a lot of the time they play not to lose rather than to win. Kind of takes the fun out of the game as a player and a spectator. Obviously, NCA Division One lacrosse. If your job depends on your performance, there can be pressure put on not to lose the game. But as a spectacle, it is far better to actually let the players play. Let them decide it. That shot bounce wide. <coughs> Sweden ball back line. Sweden six, Scotland six. Could this be the first upset? The blue division teams, Sweden. Scotland had a magnificent performance in the World Championships against Australia. Was like eight and nine goals down against Australia, and they managed to come back in the second half. Got it to within one before the game was delayed with a thunderstorm. Australian team managed that situation much better than Scotland. Managed to pull away. But Scotland definitely had momentum for a while. Those games are still available on the 247.tv website. I'd recommend anyone, especially of Scottish heritage, to have a look at that website. And particularly that game one of the best Scottish performances I've seen in following the game for one or two years. This is Troy Kacher. Gets it to Hayway again, drives topside and a beautiful goal again. Dan Hayway has obviously had his oats this morning and a quiet first half. Suddenly two goals and an assist in the first two minutes of the second half. And Scotland take the lead. Scotland seven, Sweden six. Don't know what the Scottish team did for refreshments at half time. Perhaps some porridge or a weed ram. Whatever it was, it worked. Dixon Smith, there's a man down though. Hopefully the referees have seen that. The man down is Matt Carey. The faceless man seems to be holding his shoulder. Hopefully he's okay. The game will stop. Actually it's not Carey, it's number 51. Rhys Jeffries, defensive midfield player. Again, it's always good to see them walk off the field under their own steam. One of the Spanish players, unfortunately, in the first game of the tournament this week, broke his leg in the first game. And that was his tournament finished. Spent 18 months training and preparing for these games, only for it all to be over. He even brought his wife with him over to Amsterdam. All the sacrifice of training and financial sacrifice to come here and his tournament was done after one half of one game. Hayway with a shot wide that time. He's on a bit of a roll, this is Keitcher. Good touch by Dixon Smith. He read that pass, couldn't corral it. So Scotland will retain possession on the sideline. This is Jesse Fair. Maxed up with Dixon Smith. And Fair's coming to his strong hand. Yeah, nice defence there by Peter Welf on Dun Hayway. Just got a stick in on his hands so he can get his hands free. That shot managed to go wide. You don't have to take the ball away. A little lift check or just getting your head of your stick on the attacker's hands, causing problems. Beautiful little show and go. Troy Kacher twice threatened to pull the trigger and has used it to get even closer to the goal. 
little right to left move by Hayway. Just lost his balance though. And it's a foot on the line there. And they're calling it against Sweden. Like a Scottish foot to me. But it turns out whichever the referee calls is correct because the referee calls it. So it'll be Scotland ball. With Ian Vickers to bring the ball on. Just remind it, it's Scotland 7, Sweden 6. And Scotland started the goal off, started the second half off the best. Dan Hayway with two unassisted goals and an assist to Matt Carey. Improved his points tally for the tournament. Aidy Bennett, his co leader and the top scorer of charts, plays this evening in the last quarter final for England versus Finland. Should be a good matchup. Finland had a poor showing in their first game with England. England run out 18 2 winners. I would expect it to be a lot closer tonight. Yeah. And Carl Olsen decides to go on his right hand. It's definitely his non dominant side. He's got a huge left handed shot. A little bit of a change up shot there. Ethan Harris saved it twice before it got to him. Just managed to uh, change in pace. Just managed to deceive Harris there. That ball sneaked in, off stick side, little bouncer, hip high. They all count. It's a tying goal for Sweden. Scotland seven, Sweden seven, third quarter. Again, a bit of a loose ball battle. Beautiful finish again, high to low. Dan Hayway with his third goal of the quarter to go with his assist. It's nice to see Reese Jeffries. I think he got the assist on that one. Back on the field of play, taking the face off, winning the ball, and also getting the assist to Dan Hayway. Welcome back, Reese. So, Scotland take the lead again. Scotland 8, Sweden 7. Jeffries wins the draw on that one. This time, Kevin Powers manages to strip him of the ball. Gets it to his teammate. Dixon Smith. Again, a little give and go. Super save by Harris. Dixon Smith. Interference there on the ground ball. Obviously a bit of boxing out going on off play. If you're within five yards of the ball, or three yards of the ball, sorry, you can uh, use your body to contact the man, body check. Obviously someone was shielding a man away from the ball, even though Scotland had possession. The referee spotted it, so it's a change of possession. Sweden with the ball. Sunny Samuelson. A little bouncer, but Ethan Harris spread that all the way. And a great outlet pass. Bounds Ian Vickers. This is Hayway again. He's feeling it at the moment. Dan Hayway's cousin, Richard Hayway, played in the World Championships. He's not here this time. But the Hayway family was well represented at the World Championships of Scotland. And a super goal. Matt Carey. Pick that one out. Steps in with a split dodge, a little bit of change of pace, change of direction. High bouncer, left-handed. Beats Andreas and stick side. Timeout by head coach Hans Bjork. It's Scotland nine, I'll repeat nine, Sweden seven.
Sweden looking to be in cruise mode early on. Just taking things comfortably. The talk around the village today the, with all the athletes was that the blue group teams look the strongest in their defensive organisation. And having had tough competition all week, Scotland obviously didn't get the memo. And they're currently two goals up in the third quarter here in the first quarter final. Again, the winner of today's game will go through to the semis. And the loser, that will be their opportunity to actually get a medal here. That will be them over for the week. And after that, it will just be placings. So the placings, one to four, will be decided for the winners. So the worst you can do is fourth if you win this game. The best you can do if you lose is fifth. So it'll be the fifth to eighth bracket. And Coach Bjork will be reminding his Swedish team that all their work they've done and all their great performances so far this week will go out the window unless they can win this game. And Scotland are currently two goals up in the third quarter. Superb play again at the face-off draw. Reese Jeffries wins the ball cleanly behind. Jesse Fair collects him the ground ball. Error on the substitution there. Scotland stepped offside. So after all that great work at the face-off. There's a turnover. So a Swedish ball. Scotland nine, Sweden seven. Nice turnover though. Right and stamp. Etherington just cleans through the scoops the ball. Only had eyes for the ball there. Superb play by Edmonton and Scotland draw a flag. This is Jesse Fair. Tried a little dump inside to number 32 for Scotland. That's Martin Crawford, a lefty attack player. Fortunately, went over his head. Scotland will start with possession though. The penalty is served, so there'll be man up. Scotland get their men up spot on. We have Keicher, Hayway, Carey, Vickers, Fair, and number 14. Miles Boner. This is Hayway with the shot. Andreasen read that one though. Catches it cleanly. Goes for the long clear. Jonas Drakenberry. Went in where Angel fear to tread. And came up with the ball. There were three very large Scottish gentlemen around him when he scooped up that ball. But Jonas only had eye for the ball. There's a slash called. Just as the Swedish penalty will be released, Matt Carey will be called for the one minute penalty for a slash. So Sweden will go on the man up. But they're still two goals down here in the third quarter in the opening quarter final at the Pinake Hockey Stadium on pitch one. And again, the clock is on Scotland's side. It's a running clock in international rules. Beautiful finish. Throckenberry to Palson again. It's a nice connection. Throckenberry looked at his man. Stepped away as though he was going to carry the ball behind goal. And it was at that point that the crease player defender relaxed. And he threw a little look away feed to Palson. He just caught the ball and redirected it. Stick side low and beat Harris. Had no chance on that one. So that's Sweden... Eight, Scotland nine. Again, penalties are vitally important. You need to be able to convert your man up opportunities. And now the Scotland penalty will be released, and Sweden will have a man in the box. See if the Scottish man up can be as effective as the Swedish. 
score is Scotland 9, Sweden 8 in the third quarter. This is Carey. To Keitcher. To Vickers. To Hayway. To Fair. And this time Crawford is on the crease. Hayway to Fair. Back to Hayway. This is Keitcher. Beautiful play. That's what I was talking about, mate. The difference between a stop and a save. Andreasen went down low. It was a high bouncer by Keitcher. Unfortunately, the ball rebounded in the air. And while everyone else was stood around waiting for it. 32. Martin Crawford nipped in, redirected the ball before Andreasen could be set. And it's Scotland 10. Sweden 8. Inefficiency on man up. EMO, extra man opportunity or extra man offence is critical for every chance you get. You, need, you should be looking at converting at least one in three. And the top teams really should be looking at around the 50% mark. The best way to stop a team being aggressive on defence is so every time they foul you, you convert, put another put goal on the scoreboard. Scotland 10. Sweden, eight, third quarter. Nice pressure, this is Davidson for Sweden. This is Hillengren. Dishes the ball off, the Vickers on the ball. Being marked up by Kevin Powers. That one just went astray, good pressure by Hillengren. Kevin Powers, quiet game so far. Famous last words. The defensive midfield player, number 23 for Sweden, Bjorn Johansson, scores the goal. Nice bouncer. High bouncer, stick side. Kevin Powers will get the assist. Scotland 10, Sweden 9. And that is the end of the third quarter. Again, good timing. It's always good to get a goal just before quarter time. Sweden. Let's take a small break. I'll join you ready for the fourth quarter.